guys, I was just uh, walking along here, uh, and I just wanted to point something up real quick. We're getting close to October now, and a lot of these milkweeds are starting to die off. You can see how they're just getting all fluffed up and dried out here now, okay? Um, you can use these milkweeds for a few different things. One, guys, is the milk itself, just in here, all that white gooey stuff that you get on your hands, they work really, really good for a cut and abrasion. So just take that liquid off, put a little bit on you, and uh, it'll start helping you heal. Another thing is inside these pods here, guys, you have all this fluff. See this fluff here? This stuff is really good tinder. Also, it's great insulation. So if you, if you feel like you're getting cold or whatever, you can just take a bunch of these milkweeds Open them up like this, take a lot of this fluff right out, and you can start stuffing it up into your shirt, your insulation. But what I'm gathering right now, guys, is I'm just pulling this stuff right out of the ground and stripping it off because we're going to use this, this dried up stock here, for cordage. Okay? So these little milkweeds have a lot of use. Okay, guys? Just wanted to point that out. I'm getting myself a, a nice little collection here. I got a couple of bowstrings to work on and a few other things. What I want to do now, guys, <coughs> I'm going to show you a couple of things here. One thing is I want to show you how to make tinder. I'm sorry, a cordage out of this milkweed. Alright? So when you got milkweed like this, what we want to do is we want to get the the, the fibers and but we don't want the pulp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out my trail master here and I'm going to chop off the fattest piece back here, like this. Okay? So I chop the end off. Now I'm just going to sort of bang it down. See how it breaks? Okay? It broke right down. Now I'm just going to split it open. And because it's late in the year, guys, what's going to happen is a lot of the inside milk has dried out. Alright? I'm going to give you the quick version here because we don't have all day on these little 10 minute videos. Okay? Normally, guys, I would collect this and let it dry out, and I just want to show you that even though it's wet, we can still have it. So I took the thickest piece, guys, and you see I'm just splitting it open. It might even dry it out in the fire as I do it here a little bit. Okay? I'm going to split it open. And once you get it like this, what you're going to do is you're going to snap the end here. Now if it's dry, it'll snap very easily. And then, you might have to go down a little way. You're going to have to find the piece that snaps, and then I start peeling it back. See this, guys? I'm just peeling it back. Like this. And if I just pull it straight down, we start getting the inner fiber. Like this. Okay? It's got the inner fiber. And you might have to work it a little bit. Like I said, because this is all I want. Okay? Now because of the fact that it's still wet and I would like to dry it out, I'm just going to take a couple of pieces like we have here, and I'm just going to get it started just to show you how we want this thing to work. Now, once I have a few pieces like this, gentlemen, okay, I'm going to take it. Now, you have longer pieces. See how long this is? If I took my time, I could probably get a piece this long. Okay? But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to give you the Reader's Digest version. So as I start to twist this in the center, or sometimes you don't even want to twist it in the center, guys. You want to twist it kind of lopsided like this. So when you start to slice your other pieces together, you won't have a slice in the same spot. You'll be staggering your slices, which is better. Okay? But for, like I said, for this purpose, I'm just going to split it in the middle because it's not very long. And I'm going to twist it. 
okay? And I'm going to keep twisting it so it looks like this. I want you guys to see this, okay? <clears throat> it looks like this. Right? That's what I want. And as I keep twisting it, it's going to turn on itself. See? Look, it's going to turn on itself. This is the piece I want. Now it's turning on itself. Okay? Hey, over here, guys. It's a little chilly out here today. So, once you get it so it's twisting on yourself, guys, I'm going to, some people are lefty, some people are righty, so it kind of depends. I'm going to twist it forward, and then I'm going to pull it back on itself. Okay? Then I'm going to twist this piece here forward, nice and tight, and then I'm going to pull it back on itself. I'm going to twist it forward, and then twist it back on itself. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay? I'm about to show you guys one more time. This is what it's going to look like right here. Alright? I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to get as close as I can so you can see it. This is the quarters that we've been working on. Okay? You can see some of the places that I sliced in together. Alright? And this is what we got here. You can see this. Okay? Now, some of the places are weak. Right? Some of the places are weak. They, they sort of unraveled and they, they just got weakened. So eventually what's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to take this cordage here and it's going to be folded over and doubled up like this. Okay? I'm going to double it up. And I'm going to start twisting it again so it's going to be twice as thick. 